Hey, hey, happy Friday, travel lovers. It's your boy, Sean, from The Sean Experiment, and I'm here to give you a video and photo walkthrough of what food is like on a carnival ship. Yeah. So I know everyone says like, you know, what's the cruise food like? Or, or you know, what'd you get? Or what'd you eat? And they always say, oh, I got a steak. And you're like, why? I don't understand what that means. Well, I'm gonna show you again pictures. I'm gonna show you videos. And I'm gonna give you access to all the menus from a recent cruise from just two weeks ago. So you know what to expect on a cruise ship. Let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna break this down into four categories for you. I'm gonna start with the appetizers, move into the main entrees, get into some casual foods, burgers, pizza, etc., and then go over a few desserts. Now, of course, there's much more food than we're gonna go over in this video. It would take me a year to put every single bit of food or different kinds of meals you can get on the ship. All of these meals are free. So I'm not showing you any of the specialty steakhouses or anything, those are for different videos. These are all the free meals, um, or at least some of the free meals that you can get on a carnival ship. So uh, first off, let me just invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you like these videos and you like the content, subscribing to the channel and liking the video is the most impactful way you can say thank you uh, and just kind of wave and say hello. So thanks so much for your subscription. Thank you for liking the video. Now let's get into some food. Starting off here is one of my favorite appetizers, the fried calamari with zesty tomato sauce and a lemon aioli. Mm. On the Rare Finds menu, you have the cured salmon with candied tomato, dill cream, and a lemon dressing. And of course, your classic shrimp cocktail with cocktail sauce and a lime garlic remoulade. This was something new on the Rare Finds menu, alligator beignets. They were actually pretty good. And I don't even remember what this is, but like, looks pretty good, right? <laughs> I must have lost this menu. Something I would never order in real life is escargot, but for some reason on a cruise ship, it makes it worth it, and these were good. Had to get in with some vegetable spring rolls with a soy dipping sauce, nice and salty, a good appetizer. Now this caprese, uh, the tomatoes were not super good, but you know what you're getting here, mozzarella and tomato. Now these are the fried oysters, and I'm not a big fan of oysters, but I challenge you to try them because they actually weren't that bad. The sweet and sour shrimp with the scallion garlic fried rice, normally one of my favorites, but the shrimp were actually kind of mushy, so they may fall off that list. Now this was the carbonara. Now I knew the sauce wouldn't be real rich and creamy because on the cruise it's normally a little bit cheaper, but I got it for a reason. And it's the lobster. The lobster is only served on elegant night or captain's dinners most of the time. So I chopped up my lobster and put it in there. Actually made it pretty good. Robin got the stuffed portobello mushrooms, stuffed full of a lot of cheeses and flavors. Actually said it was pretty good. The baked ziti was nice and cheesy and a good pasta dish that's simple and easy to put down. Now, hands down, one of my favorite meals on this cruise was the veal parmesan. The meat was so good. You got to try this. And maybe because of all the cheese, I think the lasagna was my second favorite. Definitely. Look at that picture. Come on, guys. That's good. And for my weird choice, the cinnamon pumpkin cheese pie. Now, when it came out, it was flaky and delicious looking, but I had to cut into it, right? This thing was pretty weird, but honestly, I'm going to recommend it. It was sweet. Uh, it was like a lot of pumpkin flavor, cinnamon. Look at the cut open here. You know, nice and kind of just almost mushy, like sweet yams and a nice pastry. It was pretty good. I do recommend this as well. And of course, you got to get a filet mignon, your green beans, your mashed potatoes. The potatoes pretty good. The steak, not bad for a cruise ship. And your classic grilled shrimp and veggie. So can't go wrong with grilled shrimp. Always a classically good dish. In one of my previous videos, I talked about sea day brunch. This is the filet and eggs from that meal, and it was really, really good. You have to check out sea day brunch. This is the huevos rancheros that Robin got, and it might have been even better, but careful, it's got a little bit of heat to it. 
You can't talk about cruise food without pizza. Look how cheesy it is. It's free. It's 24 hours. You got to get it. Now check out this video from Guy Fieri's Burger Bar. That Guy's Burger Bar in the Carnival Horizon? Boy. You don't even know about that boy. Chipotle mayo? I don't know. Killing it. She's not lying. That Chipotle mayo can set off a burger. Look at this thing. That's a Five Guys free burger. Eat it five times a day. It's so good. Now there is sushi on the boat. It does cost a little bit of extra money, but cheap for what it is. And surprisingly, it was some actually really good sushi. I definitely recommend getting a roll. We do not normally get dessert on the cruise, but look at this apple pie with the vanilla ice cream. It's so good. Honestly, we eat so many appetizers and entrees. Desserts always last on our list. But I mean, a cheesecake uh, cupcake, this crazy salted caramel cupcake, you can get those from the milkshake bar. This is the chocolate delight that was delivered to our room with the chocolate covered strawberries. The macaroons were soft and crazy delicious. And this little tart mousse that comes in a cup. So desserts are plentiful. They're not normally super rich and creamy, but still worth getting. All right, and so that was it. Now again, that's not it. There's so much more food on a cruise that I didn't even get to. Trust me, if you are hungry any time of the day, there is something to eat. There are late night buffets, there are chocolate delight hours, there are so many really cool things that you can get into. Stay tuned for more. Also, I said I'd give you access to all the menus. So go to my Facebook page and I'm gonna post up all the menus from the cruise that we were on. I screenshot them, it's just easier to put it on the Facebook page. So if you wanna go and check out literal descriptions of the food, even way more than what I showed you in this video, go and look. If you didn't like what I liked, that's okay. There's so much more. There's probably eight, 10, 12 entrees on every uh, meal, maybe four to six appetizers, several desserts. So, you know, go check out my Facebook, Google it or go to Facebook and search The Sean Experiment. Um, I'll also put the link below in the description. Check out the menus. Thanks for checking out the video. You guys have an awesome, awesome weekend. I'm gonna see you later. Peace out.